Well, some heavy rain will be moving into the area, and it's getting a little chilly. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is here now. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica and Yuki. Yeah, kind of a rainy, raw night ahead. The wind has switched. We now have an east wind bringing a lot of clouds. It's gray. It's a little damp, even though the showers we had earlier have moved on out. Temperatures only in the 40s right now. You can see a little rain up in Mount Pocono. It's 37 there. 47 in Redding with some rain. Right now, we're just seeing that east wind off the water down the shore. Temps are only in the mid 40s in Atlantic City, chilly. And again, that raw, damp wind off the ocean. The rain will pick up in intensity tonight. Periods of heavy rain with some gusty thunderstorms embedded within that area of rain. And tomorrow, rounds of rain expected. One round of showers in the morning, another round at night, and there will be intermittent shower chances and at least some drizzle at any time. It's not like we're going to have a break of sunshine in the afternoon. It looks like a soggy, damp day, although it will be a little bit warmer than today. A spring chill then coming. We're back to the cold. Highs only in the 40s again Sunday and Monday. So Storm Scan 3 shows a lot of green. It's all starting to filter in. You can see some rain off to our north right now and starting to see this middle section of this system fill in with moisture as well. The severe weather threat is off to our west and off to our south tonight where there are two tornado warnings in South Carolina and Ohio. But the center of this low is all the way back here over Illinois and that piece is not going to rotate through until tomorrow night. Here's a look at the severe weather ongoing right now in Chicago and heavy downpours in Florida. For us, this is mainly rain, but you can see as we go through 10, 11 o'clock tonight, any one of these little heavier cells could produce some thunder and lightning. That will continue overnight into tomorrow morning as well, perhaps a few thunderstorms early in the morning, then rain up and down the coast on and off throughout the course of the day. Then we get the back edge of the storm rotating through tomorrow night with another round of rain and gusty thunderstorms. This is a long duration system. It's not just going to pour the entire time, but intermittent rain and thunder is likely. And many spots will end up with over an inch of rain total before all is said and done. The spots that get stuck under one of those heavier downpours will see the most as far as rainfall accumulation is concerned. But it is all rain, warm enough that we're not looking at any snow with this system. There may be some patchy freezing rain, though, some icing in the Poconos. Tonight's low, 48 degrees, periods of heavy rain with embedded storms. Tomorrow morning showers, then scattered showers throughout the day with another period of steady rain or a thunderstorm in the evening. The high is 63. Friday looks dry, but then another chance of precipitation on Saturday. That's with a cold front. And then it's dry Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, but much colder air sweeps in behind that front on Saturday. By Sunday, Monday, we're going to see this cold Arctic air pulled right down from northern Canada with highs 10 to 15 degrees below average in some spots. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast, 60s for the next two days. Friday morning looks okay, then clouds increase. Could be a stray shower Saturday, then it's cold. Highs only in the 40s. You may even need the gloves and the hat next week. Mm. We're going to start Monday morning at 29 degrees. So any plants you may have bought prematurely, you might want to cover them up next week. It's going to get cold again, Yuki. Me? Plants? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you that. have a green thumb. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks, Kate.